All right, let's talk about programming today, and more specifically, a year-long program. So this is gonna be sort of the example I'm using is myself and the program that I've done in the last year. So go all the way back to last February to the uh, lockdown period of the first lockdown, and now we're in the third lockdown. Maybe we'll be in the fourth lockdown soon enough. But, you know, I start off with a general physical parent space. And the point of a program is you wanna go from general to specific, specific being to your sport. So if I start with GPP, this is where you're building up your body's work capacity, building up the joint, joint integrity of your uh, joints and, and ligaments, you know, making sure your body is resilient and able to handle the work ahead. So here we're doing high reps, high volume. We're doing stuff like kettlebells, sleds, body weight exercises. You can do barbell stuff, but you're really trying to build up that work capacity. Then we move into strength. This is where we go into a maximal strength phase where we're trying to really improve the one rep max in you know, the four quadrants of our body. So we start, we split the body into four, we do a, a hinge movement, a squat movement, a pulling movement, and a pressing movement. So here, what I would do is a squat, a bench, a deadlift, get whatever variation you like, and then a weighted pull up. I think this is pretty much the best exercise for pulling strength, because it's pretty much the heaviest way you can load up your your back muscles without, you know, also loading up your legs in like a barbell row. So here, you know, it's low volume, low reps, maintain your aerobic conditioning during a strength phase. You just have to do low intensity, steady state cardio. It's pretty simple how to do that. Then after that, we go into a power speed phase. We're going down the force velocity curve. So we're, you know, moving, we're using lighter weights, mildly lighter weights, but we're, you know, moving them a lot faster. So here we're safe, sticking to low reps, but we're increasing the volume a little bit, low to medium volume. We're doing, you know, the Olympic lift variations where it has clean jerks, snatches, push presses are useful, or, you know, hang versions of those. And then we're doing, uh, you can also use accommodating resistance like West Side Barbell using bands and chains that helps you, you know, accelerate through the entirety of the movement. And then we're also doing plyometrics and ballistics here because, you know, those are often use, use them at the start of the session in order to increase the ceiling of how fast you can move. You don't want those done at the end of the session because you know, you're know you tired, you can't move as fast. So plyometrics, ballistics at the start of the session and then move into power exercises like Olympic variations or accommodating resistance exercises. Here, I'd also start introducing conditioning again like kettlebells, clubs, and Bulgarian bags because in those things, you're still moving pretty fast and you're able to do them for you know higher reps so they're able to start building your body's work capacity up. Again, because you're going to be prepare, preparing your body to go into a specific and current phase where you're trying to increase all of your body's um, you know, qualities at the same time, your strength, your power, your speed, as well as all of the energy systems that are required for your sport, like you, like the energy systems being anaerobic, alactic, anaerobic, lactic, and aerobic. You want to be able to improve all of these. What I'm doing is I'm doing max effort days, you know, upper and lower, and then I'm also doing a lot of, you know, conditioning like circuit training, where the exercises I'm doing are going to be transferable to my sport. So, you know, I'll do like, you know, certain kettlebell ex exercises for a minute, and then I'll switch to a different type of exercise, like a Bulgarian bag exercise for a minute, and I do 10 minutes on, one minute each exercise, and then I will repeat that for a long extended period of time of, you know, two to three 10 minute rounds. So it's, you're getting a lot of work done, building a lot of work capacity, but it's also it's relatively specific to the energy systems required for your sport. Also doing you know high intensity interval training, you're already trying to build up the intensity you can work at and stuff like that. And here, you know, you wanna start you know worrying a little more about exercise selection because you know, you're trying to be specific to your sport. Don't wanna to get too specific, but you wanna be able to you know, be working movement patterns that are relevant. You know, doing, you, know, upper, you know, doing exercises that aren't relevant to your sport here is just gonna you know, hinder your recovery. It's not gonna be useful. And one last point is on this specific and current phase, I'm rotating exercises regularly almost every three weeks in order to stop myself from plateauing. So I'm continuously pro progressing and improving my strength in different, different exercises. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. It's a quick rough overview of my year long plan to give you an idea of how year long programming works. And I'll be going into you know videos on more detail of each of these different phases and you know more stuff about different programming methods.
let me know if you like this video let me know if you like the whiteboard sort of you know video style and i'll see you in the next video